Hi everyone, my name is Derek Salamanca and I'm going to show you what it's like to visit the Hasadera Temple. We are actually on the way to the Great Buddha of Kamakura, if I'm saying those names right. And we actually asked for directions and got sent here by accident. But if you're going to either the Great Buddha of Kamakura or this place, do the other one as well because they're right down the street from each other. Here's a picture so you know what it looks like. Those are good. Yeah, they do. Please eat soon. So it's a little pancake store in here. Do you want one? I kind of do. Let's order pancakes. But this is where the Thank you. pancake deliciousness is. So it's like pancake sandwich with chestnut in it, I guess. Yeah. And it's on the road that you need to go to the Buddhist statue as soon as you get off the train. So heading to the statue, the first thing you do is you walk in. There's a bunch of gardens. There's these gigantic trees. With just flowers going outside of the inside of trees. They have a little pa pamphlet guide for different languages, so we obviously we grabbed English. Um, it seems like there's three different ways. There's one here, there's one over the side here, and everybody's going this way, and the arrow says go that way. So on their way, there's a few temples, there's a cave, uh, another temple. But they say not to take any photographs, so we're just going to videotape from afar. And you'll have to just look at it when you get here. I'm unsure as to what this building is, but they took the stone and made some sweet designs, and the moss and the green is gorgeous. Um, if any of you have seen Kill Bill, the scene where they're fighting with the snow, this is what it reminds me of. I don't know, this whole section reminds me of a Kill Bill fight scene. Look at this, this is where you're supposed to wash your hands before you go in there. Oh. We're about to go into a cave. I didn't know anything about there being a cave. So we're not sure what's in it, and my camera most likely will not work. My camera sucks at the dark. You can see different statues along the wall, and there's spots to put candles, as you can see here, underneath the different statues. And I'm sorry the lighting's so bad in here. There we go. So I'm sure you can't see my face. But I'm crouching for a very long time. And it comes out into a room with more statues and more candles. We just entered another side cave room and there's all these little tiny. Here's my hand size, how tiny they are. The statue's outside too. I wonder. Um, I'm not sure. Some of them fell over. I didn't do that. And there's a whole room full of them. These little ones up in the... I'm not sure what they're for. There's no sign to say like what they are. Look at them. They're all, they're all over the place. There's signs. They're just in Japanese. So if you look closely, you'll see that the design goes like this, which is the symbol for peace and harmony. And the Nazis actually flipped it over, which is the Nazi symbol that everybody knows and sees. So this is a Nazi symbol backwards, which means peace and harmony. So we're on a different level now. And there's so much more than we thought there was here. We thought it was going to be a, just a big statue in a temple. It's amazing. But there's like a bunch of little temples, there's caves, and it's gorgeous. Everything about this is just like covered in moss. Everything is like fine detailed to be like perfect. You can see them pouring water over its head, but I'm not sure what that means. And they got more and more little statues. I don't understand the significance of many statues. If anybody out there knows why they have so many little ones and they want to explain it to me, leave me a message or a comment in the video. I always check those. I don't know. My sister just asked me if I'm supposed to be walking on the rocks. Probably not. And I don't know, but I see people down there when they're washing that statue's head, that they are. But I didn't see any signs said about them being different. They're all a little different? <laughs> okay, Lena said they're all a little bit different, like they're hand carved. Which if you look at these three in particular, they're all, they are all a little bit different. Just a little bit different facial features and she's probably right, they probably are all hand carved. Which makes it even more amazing when you consider the amount of them. And they're all different sizes as they go up. So this section is so far my favorite part about this. And I did it just 
kind of there's, a, there's an only the only big stone right here and when I stood on it I just went up and looked and it looks like the Buddhist guy I don't know his name sorry but it looks like he's looking down on you and it was almost like I'm sure that's just why the stone's there and it just makes you feel like something's over you and something's protecting you it's like the weirdest feeling and uh, if you're here, I would suggest trying it. So Dina's gonna watch, wash the Buddha statue. We don't know why you do it, but you do it. I've also noticed that there's no handicap access. And I'm always on the wrong side of things. I'm on the wrong side of the railing, the wrong side of the stairs. Yeah, oh, he's going down. I'm on the right, I'm on the wrong side. So he made it up to the top. And this is what is awaiting for us. So far the only negative part about this whole thing is that we don't read or speak Japanese. We don't know what anything is. And usually when you go to tourist places there's like multiple language definitions, but there's not here. You're just SOL. There's a lot of people that are here to see this. And I kind of wish there was nobody here. So you're here all by yourself. So I can just imagine how peaceful and like tranquil it would be. So I made a mistake about the wheelchairs. There definitely is wheelchair access. Here it is. So if you do want to bring your wheelchairs, there you go. Good luck. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely go down the street and check out the great Buddha of Kamakura after you go to this place. I have a bunch of other Japan videos and I'll put the links for those in the description below. Um, if you enjoyed this one, you're definitely going to enjoy those as well. I also suggest subscribing because I put out a bunch of travel and adventure videos all the time. And so you're not going to want to miss those. If you guys have any questions about things that I didn't cover in the video, give me a comment or leave a message. I'm always checking them and I'll definitely answer. Make sure you guys check out the One Ad Digest. It's an awesome classified ad website and I'll put the link for that in the description below. Uh, again, my name is Derek Salamanca. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.